Alright, what's up everyone? How you doing? I hope you're doing great. Today we have some news. Firstly, Intel Core i5 13600K 13, and i7 13700K. Pre-production pre samples have been tested in games. So these are the newer Intel Raptor Lake CPUs compared with older Lake. And we're seeing a better minimum frame rate according to this leaker or not leaker basically at Haru Harukai's Harukai's 5719 he came up with his own charts right here and these are two tests DDR4 using DDR4 memory and using DDR5 memory both on i5 13600k and i7 13700k so these are the results here and well comparing to 13 i5 12600k the 13 1600k is around 2 person in 4k max 1.5 percent in 4k average and 4k min it's 1 11 percent faster in qhd max it's two person again and qhd average is 3.7 in qhd min it's 10.49 percent leading fhd max similar results 12 percent average 9.93 and HD min is 11.1 percent leading this is on ddr4 memory on ddr5 we can see similar results but there are some differences but you can expect similar kind of performance increase on to the next one we have i7 12700k versus 13700k and here we're seeing six person in 4k max to average on 2.68% average lead and in minimum 11.4% lead in QHD max is 6.74 QHD average 5.18 QHD min 7.63% lead FHD max having similar kind of well scenario 9.76 7.4 and 13.67 so there's a little bit of game with DDR5 I guess or basically that was DDR4, not DDR5, this is DDR5. And here, again, again, because you know, you're increasing the memory. 7.84, 4.06, yeah, you get the idea. It's just, there's a gain, basically, using the DDR5 memory. And we have broader 3D mark and TimeSpy benchmarks. And, well, as you can see here, in TimeSpy, there's a substantial gain. If you look into the... 3600 compared to 12600k of course there's 5857 and 7783 so there's a massive massive difference on to the next one 12600k and 3600k again there's a massive difference here times by an extreme cpu times by extreme times by cpu and times by all the results are given below you can check it out and of course to the 12700KF and 13700K similar scenario it's like around 2000 gain as you can see 76307 around 2000 gain I would say like roughly but here there is a big gain as you can see using the DDR5 memory there is a big gain and it also will look similar across the whole benchmark next up for today we have nvidia rtx 40 series notebooks and here we're seeing notebooks with nvidia ga107 gpu can easily be upgraded to rtx 40 80 106 or 107 gpu so coming from copite 7 kemi video cards asks this question thought only 8102 test boards are available right now and he says even 8106 and 8107 so yeah all of them are available makes sense and he again repeats notebooks need them more every notebook using geo 107 has the opportunity to smoothly upgrade to 8106 or 8107 there's so basically there's room for easier upgrade so that's the good news lastly here we have Intel confirms 12th gen Meteor Lake as versatile processing unit for AI or deep learning applications. So versatile processing unit 
for deep learning and AI interface is coming with 14th generation Meteor Lake, which obviously not anytime soon, it's gonna take some time, we don't know when, probably in the next, well, 3 or 4 years, I don't know, or maybe even 2 years. So, they have this versatile processing unit, very, well, nerdy, I can't get into that, but if you're interested, link in the description, you can look into it, hopefully it will help you. Alright, thanks for watching, this is it, and hopefully you enjoyed, and got knowledge about tech, and I'll see you next time. See ya.